Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be cleaning, then I'll be upgrading my first PC with the RX 5 8GB card by uh, AMD. Yeah, so before we do that, a little update on my system. Alright, here is my setup with my monitor, keyboard, mouse, joystick, speakers, whatever. And here is my PC. Now if you see my first video, you would know that I chose the node 304 because I initially wanted to put my PC on the table and put my monitor on top of it, like uh, IT lab computers in secondary school. But I couldn't do that because I didn't think it through. So when I put the, when I put the node 304 on the desk, I of course had to turn it sideways. Which is fine because these USB ports, they stick out. They face me when I put when I turn the case sideways. Turns out, I couldn't reach the power button, uh, the power cord. The Here is my outlet, and the power cord couldn't reach when I turn the case sideways on the desk. Oh, by the way, this is my desk. See, it's all boarded up on the side here and there. So that's why I thought, oh, I just put the desktop on the on the table instead of buying a ITX or a regular mini ITX. That is initially why I chose ITX form factor and this case in particular, this bad desk. Anyway, so the power cord couldn't reach on the power cord couldn't reach if I had turned the key sideways and put it on the desk. So what I did, I bought an extension card. Let's get a close up on that. Uh, the, the one at the bottom. Oh wow, that's like super blown out. Anyway, I bought an extension card and I ran it behind the desk and boom, to the case right there. The case, the case is on the box that it came in and boom. So now that I have my case on my right side of the, um, it's not on the desk, it's right there. Then I'm thinking all of this was, was pointless. You know, I got node 304 because I wanted to put it on the table. Node 304 is hella expensive and it goes out of stock very often. If I had known that I could have just run an extension card behind the, the table, I would have just gotten a regular mini, a re regular ATX keys. Would have gotten the S340 or something instead of this thing. Anyways, um, I'm going to be cleaning the dust off my case, and I'm also going to be installing my graphics card, the RX 578 GB card from ASUS. So let's go to that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that dusty b-roll. Um, I'm going to be cleaning the case now and hopefully do some more uh, cable management in there. I got me some zip ties for the cable management. I got a screwdriver to get into the case and I also got tissue to clean it down. So let's get into that cleaning session. Alright, so my video card is going to go here and I don't think it's going to fit. Look at all these wires here. I don't think the video card is going to fit here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some cable management first then I'm going to open and install my video card.
All right, so I just found out that I zip tied this, but then I just realized that I could probably run the zip tie through the drive cage, through a hole in the drive cage, to ensure that um, these bunch of cables stay up. So I'll have to cut my zip tie and do that all over again. Uh, before I do that, let's move the camera, make this shot more appealing. Alright, this is the connector I'll be using uh, to plug my graphics card, my PCIe. PCIe thing. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need if it's a six pin alone or if it's a six and and a two pin. So we'll see. But I'll keep this I'll keep this out so that when I need it, I don't have to be fishing through these cables that I'm going to manage. Alright, so after a while, I got it. Oops, you... I zip tied it through the drive cage and now the cables are up. So now let's open up my card. Yep, let's open up the graphics card and get on to it. Alright, and here is my new beauty my uh, RX 570 so hilariously this motherboard was the cheapest motherboard I could find and it has a red theme and this card also has a red theme so I guess when I decide to put um, my build in a Define Nano S I will have a black and red theme That was very unsatisfying, but it was done, and you guys get to see that, so yeah. Right, and oh, okay, here we go. So, we do for our power, we do need an 8 pin PCIe power. So, these cables hold on, let's see, focus. Yep, these cables will have to go together like this, these prongs, sorry. So yeah, um, this bottom thing has to be removed. Yes, this is to expose the golden fingers of the um, graphics card. Now for a case, I have to remove this stuff here. So hold on while I do that.
I'm done with my build, uh, rebuild. It was a pain in the ass, honestly. Okay, so the Node 304. It has a flap at the back, slot cover for the, the graphic card thing. So instead of taking that thing out, because I didn't know you had to take it out, because it's kind of like a hinge. So I thought, oh, you fit the top of the graphics card thing underneath the hinge. No, you just take that shit out. So yeah. I didn't know, I thought you had to fit that thing underneath that hinge and in doing that I ended up taking out my power supply, taking out my motherboard, trying to fit it in under that then after doing all of that then the thing just pops off so it's like oh okay so yeah that was interesting so I have my 570 plugged up and did everything so let's turn it on to see if it works to see if I don't I did everything correctly. Alright, water. Hmm. Alright, so my keyboard light is not coming on. But the light on my system here is on too. So let's see what's up with that. Alright, so my fans are on. Oh, here we go. I was just wondering if I had to unplug, plug up, do what? Cause that was that was kind of scary. It was like, oh, okay, what did I do now? So, guess nothing. Just have to wait. So, that's what we do. We wait. And of course, Windows Windows updated itself before I when I shut it down. Well, before I shut it down, Windows updated itself. So, yeah. We wait on that. Oh. Oh, well, I guess not. We are all booted up. Alright. On. Um. Alright, and here we have it. Um, you guys probably can't see that, so let's bring you closer. Radeon RX 570 series. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that, but this is awesome. Alright, and we don't have any onboard graphics. The the Vega the Vega graphics, onboard Vega graphics, they don't show up anymore. So that's cool. But yeah. Um, that's it. I'm not a total noob. I would like to do this again though, so if you guys want me to build your PC, hit me up on Instagram or something, but this was fun. Definitely when you're building your PCs, when you're building your first PCs, plan it properly. Like I I told you that I had my 304 up here, the power to plug in the cable at the back, it couldn't reach. So then bought an extension cord for the thing to reach from the power down here, down there, to reach here. And then I just ended up putting the keys on the box at the side of my desk. So definitely plan out your system when you're first building. When you're choosing ITX or ATX or whatever size case, figure out where you're gonna put it. Cause that definitely helps. Alright, so. I have a new graphics card installed and that's what I'll be doing now. Now also whoa you guys need to see all that mess. Yeah that's what I'll be doing now and alright link to the parts used in both my PC and to film this in the description down below. Um 
yeah any questions or comments leave them in the comments down below if this video was too long well yeah I'm still working on that but yeah thanks for watching everyone hit that like button please and yeah bye